Hello friend, today we will discuss about life raft. Life raft are provided as a life saving appliances on every sea going merchant or passenger ship in addition to the lifeboat. What is requirement of the life raft? Capable of withstanding exposure for 30 days afloat in all sea going conditions. If we will talk about the drop test, then drop test for life raft and its equipment is 18 meter. If stowage is more than 18 meter, it should be tested accordingly. And the equipment of the life rod should be withstand and working satisfactory after the drop test. Capable of withstanding repeated jumps on it from a height of 4.5 meter above its floor both with and without the canopy erected. Can be towed at three knots with its full equipment, persons and one anchor streaming. Canopy to provide insulation and protection against heat and cold by two layer of mat material separated by an air gap. Interior to be of a non discomforting color. Availability of sufficient air for the occupants at all times the anywhere in the canopy. Provided with at least one viewing port and provided with means of collecting rainwater and Provided with means of mount a survival craft radar transponder SART at a height of at least 1 meter above sea level. Sufficient headroom for all sitting occupants under all part of canopy. Minimum carrying capacity must be at least 6 persons. maximum weight of its container as well as the equipment should not exceed 185 kilo fitted with an efficient painter of length equal to minimum 10 meter plus the distance from the stored position to the water line in the lightest sea going condition or 15 meter whichever is greater manually controlled lamp shall be fitted on the top of canopy the lights should be white duration of light at least 12 hours the fitted light flashes 50 to 70 per minute and luminous intensity 4.3 candle not less than that next manually controlled lamps shall be fitted inside capable of continuous operation for 12 hours inflation is done by co2 with a small quantity of N2 which acts as a, an anti-freezing elements. Painter line breaking strength for 25 people and more 15 kilo newton. 10 kilo newton for 9 to 24 people and 6 to 9 people the breaking strength is 7.5 kilo newton.
now we will discuss important life raft equipment then equipment is rescue coat with minimum 30 meter line non folding knife with a buoyant handle if the life raft hold more than 13 person then second knife is, is required okay next for 12 person or less one baler required and more than 13 person two balers required sponges two numbers boyon paddles two numbers tin opener three numbers sea anchor two numbers pair of scissors one number whistle one number first aid kit zero one numbers it should be waterproof okay then signaling mirror yeah heliograph one number radar reflector one number fishing tackle one number food ration not less than 10,000 kg per person one waterproof torch with one spare bulb and batteries should be available for the signaling and anti seasickness tablet for at least 48 hours survival booklet and sea sickness bag one for per person TPA 10% of capacity or 0 to numbers whichever is greater now we will talk about marking on life raft container and marking on inflatable life raft now first on container manufacturers name and trademark serial number and solar pack a b c which is required written on container name of authority capacity number of person carried out date of last service of life raft length of painter line and maximum height of stowaways launching instruction should be on life raft container then marking on inflatable life raft makers name trademark and serial number date of manufacture name of approving authority capacity and name place and date of last service should be marked on the infl inflatable life raft now we will discuss launching of life raft and method of life raft there is a three method of launching the life raft number one auto release with hru second is manually launching and third is launching by debit first we will discuss auto release with hru you can you can say that working of hru also if uh, sometimes server ask uh, what is the HRU working then you can explain this now we'll discuss HRU acts as a connecting media between life raft and ship deck HRU works when vessel sink below 1.5 or 4 meter of water level HRU consists of sharp knife which is used to cut the strap latched over the container carrying the life raft but it still holds the painter at the weak link hru is connected to the container through the lacing arrangement which can be disengaged quickly by means of slip hook when launching the life raft manually HRU is connected to a strong point on deck through a weak link. When vessel sink, the HRU cuts the rope and container floats to the water surface. As vessel sink further, the tension in the painter causes the 
live raft to inflate the tension acting on the weak link will cause it to break ma making the life raft free from the ship when vessel sink the hru cuts the rope and container floats to the surface of water second point is manually launching in manually launching check that one end of the painter of the raft is well secured to a strong point on a ship's deck or structure remove the lacing from the container and open the way to portable railing if available on board check the ship side where the raft to be launched is clear ship side ship side should be clear two people should lift the container from both side horizontally and throw container on sea make sure painter is still fixed at a strong point so that the raft should not be waved away by water pull the painter with hard jerk to fire the gas bottle to inflate the life raft the life raft will take 20 to 30 second to inflate avoid sharp object like knife saws and other sharp object which may damage the surface of life raft should be ensured that before boarding to the life raft when everybody is bored after the kick out cut the painter with sharp knife for boarding to the life raft use ladder or a rope now we will discuss launching by david open the lacing and remove the raft container from hru by opening the manual slip hook or bottle screw arrangement painter in a strong point attach the david hook to the given eye secure canister line outboard and bowsing line pull the full length of painter then lift the life raft canister up to some height pull the painter sharply and let it inflate after inflates secure life raft one person go and make some checks the next point collect the sard and a pub go inside and sit evenly release the bowsing line and pass the raft next check if the launching area is clear then lower the life raft using the brake release after that operate hook release 1 meter above the water or allow the raft to ride a crest of wave to put the weight on the water and it will automatically release what is the strength of weak link then 2.2 plus minus 0.4 kilonewton the breaking strength of weak link 2.2 